But what I prefer to do is to think about which templates I don't really want in a theme. For example, I don't really like in the Kubrick theme, I don't like the single post template. Uh, you know, it takes the sidebar off, it centers your post in the middle of the page, and then it gives you these previous and next links here. I don't really like that look. I'd much prefer in my theme uh, to go ahead and have, when I click on title, to go ahead and have the sidebar still there so that it doesn't completely change the look of my blog. So if I want that, what I can do is come in and find all of these templates that I don't want to use and delete them first. And I don't have to worry about going in and removing the comment areas. Uh, because WordPress is based on a hierarchical template structure. When I click on, for example, here, a post, if a single PHP file exists, it uses that template. If it doesn't exist, then it goes back and uses your index file. So what I will do is come here and I'll delete single. And just to show you what that will do, if I delete the single PHP file, <clears throat> there's a single back, it just created that when I edited it a while ago. You probably won't have that. I'll delete it as well. Uh, then if I go back to my WordPress site and I click on post title, it still shows the single post, but it uses the index template that I've already removed comments from. And it keeps my nav bar on the right hand side and everything. So I sort of like that. Uh, even in archives, when I click on archives, notice the comment stuff is still there because it's using that archives template. Well, I come up here for archive, archives, and while I'm here, I'm going to go ahead and delete comments and comments pop up because I don't want them anyway. To go down and delete image, I don't need an image template. I'll delete links, page, and then leave the rest. I, I want to keep my uh, search template, uh, but I'll delete all of those. And it just saves me the trouble of having to go in and open those and see if comments are in there, which they are. Comments is in quite a few of them. And now index is going to be used for all those areas. So if I go to archives now, I'm still getting my archives for August. It's just using the index uh, PHP file to, to show that. So what I'm really missing is the text across the top that says archives, you're browsing archives for August or whatever. If I click on categories, now I'm still getting things filed in the category. It's just using the index PHP to do that. So uh, if you want to simplify the process of editing out all of the comment stuff, first thing I would do is delete all those template files there that you may not want to use. Uh, and then open your other files and just quickly look and see if comments are being called. You could do a search if you want and search into all of them, but just open and take a look. Here in the footer, for example, the comments RSS is being called. So I'll come here and delete that out and go back and look. Now in the footer, there's where the comments was. Now that I've deleted that out, I don't have the comments RSS there anymore. Come back here and just quickly look through. We don't need to look in header. I've already fixed index. Um, search. Comments is actually being called on the search page. If we were to go back and look here, if I were to type test and search, now I see that I have my comments there. Uh, if I want to keep that search page, uh, then I need to take it off. I could just delete the search page like I deleted the rest of them, but I'm going to keep the search page here. Uh, so I come in here and simply take this comments off just like I did on my index page and just look to make sure it's nowhere else in there and I don't see it anywhere else being called. It's not calling the actual comments form or anything. And click save and go back and refresh and now it's gone. Again, I could delete that uh, little vertical bar here if I wanted to. And now I have my search results page with the comments removed. Uh, back and look at the other ones, sidebar style, that's about it. So now I have a theme that has comments completely disabled and all traces of comments uh, removed out of the theme. And you can do the same thing on any other theme. All themes are different, of course, but use the same technique to hunt down and remove the commenting features on virtually any theme that you have.